I think that shall do it. Get rid of all them blood stains. I'm the deer off it, jeez. So welcome back everybody, I am Tango and this is Miss Survival. And we have a few things to go over. So first and foremost, I asked one of you guys to uh, name the poochie for me. And someone come up with the name Cleo. Because she needs a name. And if you haven't seen that episode yet where we found Cleo, I'll leave a little card just in the top right. We have a few other things to cover as well. Oh. There we go. So we finished off the little chicken coop. We've got the chicken feeder, water, up and running. We've been a bit on the quiet side today, which is nice. Oh, where'd the other one go? Oh, there he is. Try and get out. And we are being more than self-efficient. We are growing some corn, we've got some tomatoes, and it's just about to rain, which is good news for us because we need to fill, the, well, this needs filling, because we don't have any water in here right now, which is a damn shame, really. Let's get back inside. I've also thrown a couple of, uh, traps down because we've been having a bit of infestation i don't know whether that's because we live so close to the small town where the infected are but yeah we've been getting a few rats i mean cleo doesn't seem to mind them i mean she just terrorizes them so we've got a couple of well we've got a repair bench down a couple of more lockers We've upgraded the shit out of the weird bench, which is amazing. There are a few other little things that we need to do and build and go over. So I've been looking at this, obviously, for the explosives. This will come in handy because then we can create our own alcohol. I want to try to see about getting a generator up at some given point it might be this episode i'm not 100 percent sure and i want to try and get this up and running too because we have been needing some more iron ingots and a bit more copper i'm gonna have to see about gears i'm not 100 percent sure on the gears either so that's something else to look forward to in this episode but when the storm passes i have something else to show you as well and we're going to be using it to get Rachel back. Now, we had a little problem the other day. Some of the bandits came across our place. Now, me and Scott fended the place. Scott was on the snap tower, I went the way around the back. And we were able to fend them off, but one of them didn't get away. We've disposed of him now. Don't worry, we didn't kill him. We sent him back home. There you are, Cleo. Hello. But we made him talk. And Rachel has been held up in a chapel somewhere. Now, I'm going to have a look around, drive around, see if I can find her. But if she is where I think she is, we're going to take... We're going to call it the small tank. And we're gonna knock down a few doors, if you know what I mean. So once the storm's over, I'll show you the new and improved mini tank that we have. And then we'll also get to building as well. So I'll be with you in just a moment. So, as promised, here it is. Now I haven't taken it out for a spin yet. I really, <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit like, I wouldn't say nervous is the word, but I'm throwing the ammo in here. I'm not 100% sure if that's how this thing works, but I mean, look at this. Ooh, we need to fill up the uh, tank as well. We're only on one liter. Damn, this is going to be super cool. But yeah, this is what we're going to be taking to go get Rachel. But before we do that, there are a few little things 
we need to gather. Right, Jill? You did an awesome job on this. I'm gonna take it for a test spin later. Definitely. I'm gonna bring Rachel back. Hopefully, we'll be in time to do so. So, if you guys also remember as well, in the last episode, I wanted to like throw a med bay bed down, but it would seem that we don't have it anymore. Now, I have gone through the list quite a bit. And I can't seem to find it anywhere. I won't go through everything because that's a little bit boring. Oh, okay, so it is here then. All oh, right, I was in such a kerfuffle, didn't know whether or not if I had that, but kind of glad that it's here. I found it now. I will be putting this here, and then we can build it. Um. What I might end up doing is, is moving one of the beds and then placing this down. Let's do that. I mean, it's good enough, right? Still sleep. There we are. Just like magic. Look at that. So they can still get in the beds, which isn't a problem. And if they need to like heal up, then they can. I will get this built up soon as I possibly can. But first and foremost, we need to go get some resources from the mine where that damn berserker was. But, um, fingers crossed, after we kicked its ass last time, it's still licking its wounds. I mean, a few weeks have passed. I mean, we might bump into it. I don't know. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Where's Cleo gone? I'll go grab Cleo and then we'll drive to the mine. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure where Cleo's gone, but she was not around the camp. Unless she's like straight away. Oh, I'm just hoping that them bastards at that sniper tower haven't taken her. Because they were really into animals. Ah. I might have to do a little bit of digging around. I mean, she probably just wandered off to try to get some food. But again, I'm not 100% sure. Let's have a look at... See about getting some stuff from this mine. Yeah, there's some nasty bastards in here, but... We have to be extremely cautious. Oh, here we go. Here they come. Oh, crap. Come on. Let's have you. comes in super handy. It's basically some scissors. <laughs> I attached it to the bat. What do you have on you? Take everything that you've just given me. What was that? Oh, an arrow. Someone else has been in here? Okay, now we have to be super careful. Reload this. Someone else has been in here? How the heck have they got past these things? Huh. That's a question for another time, mate. We've got the moonshine distillery up and running. So hopefully we can make our own alcohol. Yeah. There's someone been in here. Okay, now I am a little bit concerned. Okay, 
Yep. Someone's definitely been in here. Any more of these things around? Can't hear any. Nor can I see any. Right. Let's gather some resources because we need to get what we can. There's copper. Looks like copper. all this see if there's any more around and then we'll head back Very eerie, it's very quiet. Huh. I am wondering if our berserker is back. He'd be making a lot of noise if he was, but I don't know. Might just be my imagination. Let's get this last bit of ore and then we'll head home. Let's go back. Oh, there you are. I was starting to wonder where you got to, well, madam. But yeah, now we're back. We're able to... Well, we will be able to throw some more stuff on the blacksmith place. Let's have a look what Scott's been doing. Okay, cool. So, I need to dump a lot of stuff around. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully we can get the uh, our bench sorted. So, if I'm going to do that, I'll bring you guys back in just a tick. Okay, so it would seem we've got almost everything that we need to finish off the workbench. Everything's cooking up and all nice. I will, however, need to throw a bit more iron ore on there because I don't... Yeah, okay, no, so we're pretty good for that. And we've got this up and running too, with the moonshine still, which is rather nice. So we can make our own booze, which in turn, we can make our own throwables. So I'm just going to wait a little bit longer for this to cook. Throw this up together and then see what we can do about making some ammunition. And then... We're going to lock and load and get Rachel back. Just when you think it's safe to step outside, you have to deal with this. Damn. Well, I'm just kind of glad that we got some defense <laughs> to stop them from getting in. I remember the, like, the first couple of weeks when we had this up. This was an absolute nightmare. Damn. Yep. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about that anymore. At least I don't think so. I mean, I know from the um, radio signal that we received, there's a new nasty about. Oh. 
There's another one over there. I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful. Take my arrows back real quick. Yeah, Chloe does not like that. Cleo, excuse me. <laughs> Let's get back inside. Well, I suppose that's one way to roll in. Let's just double check these guys real quick. No use. Being extremely cautious now. Yeah, they did not know what hit them, which is crazy. I'm guessing <laughs> you really threw them off. <laughs> That's what you get for fucking, you know, kidnapping my friends, you bastards. Where was the other guy? He was over here, right? Did I just, oh, there he is. Got balloon smithereens. You have. I don't need any of this stuff. Ah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure the fucking neighbours heard this. I'm gonna double check these over here. Let's see what they had on them. I was expecting more of a gunfight, but after that, I don't. I really, honestly, don't think they're gonna, they're gonna be bothering with us again. Yeah, because when we rolled up, they were pretty spooked. You just need to make sure that there's no one else around. 
Because I really need a drink. Oh. Come on, Cleo. Let's go. It seems secure in here. Oh, well, they did say she was in here. Or, you know. I mean, the guy could have been lying. I'm not 100% sure. Jack in here. Okay. Let's shut this door because we really need a drink. Well. Oh. Convenient. Oh, look at this. Yes. Just what we need. Get more storage, get more guns. Fantastic. Food too. Well, I'm hoping that the information this guy gave us was on the money. Wake up, Rachel. Okay. Now she's safe. We don't have to worry too much about that. I can't believe that though. We really weren't expecting us, were they? Well, saying that though, I think if you came rolling up in a like small <laughs> armored vehicle, you're not gonna question it, are you? I'm surprised they actually tried to fire it. Huh. Come on, Cleo. Let's go see Rachel. Okay. Oh, here she is. Welcome back, Rachel. You got a bed in there. Ready to all set up for you. I will get you a pistol. I want one of them holsters. They look pretty sick. I did see one on, on uh, one of the bandits as well. Good to have you back, Rachel. You got a tap like snap tower over there. If you're feeling brave enough to, you know, climb up there, <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. So it looks like the gang is now back together, which is absolutely awesome. I think we did it just in time as well, because from what we were told from last time, with that distress signal. Oh, wow. What was that? Can't really make out. Can we check to see? Oh no. It's like another survivor. Or it could be one of the bandits from that camp. I'm unsure. But as I was saying, it's about probably a good thing that we've got everyone together right now. Because from what that radio distress signal that we heard last time, it seems like we're going to have a hands full. So I think what I'll do is, is try and make some more ammunition. I'm definitely going to have to put some more uh, spike walls across. I mean, it's not too bad with the metal fencing because it's got the bob wiring. But I want to try to lock this place down as best as I possibly can. And now with Rachel here be able to get a lot more accomplished but yeah i think we're gonna call it here guys thank you so much for watching it means the absolute world to me and if you are new subscribe check out a couple of my short videos too and i will see you all in the next video